on this project. This project not to work for this is just the basic sander. The sander is going to come in this way. So the first thing I need to do is to draft my base. So my base is very, very important to draft it. So with that, I'm going to get the soap I need. So to go with it, I'm going to pick my last mark on this. Get another, get the shape out, the insole. So I will do this. I've used the shape of this last to do it. So what it, this is just to give me a gauge. Then I just try to come and adjust it to fit into what I want to work on. So I can still adjust a bit. And once I get this out, I think I'm okay with what I'm sketching in here. So you have to sketch this. Sketch this to the time you get the desired frame of what you want and continue adjusting it. So for me, I'm okay with this. So the time I have this, I then pick my scissors and then just come to cut this out. This particular project I'm working on, soles always come out very slim. Why? Because it is the way at which its design is being last. This project is being last outward. So that means the soul has to be slimmer. I need to get this balance. So this has been balanced. So at this point, I have the shape that I want to use for this project. The upper pattern covers all the leather stripes that goes all around this project we want to do. So to do that, I will just be using a straight rule to cut this upper out. I'm going to use I'm going to use a free hand pattern cut to get this out. So how am I going to get that? I'm come here with a paper. This like is the pattern you see in here goes from this place and goes in to the toe. The project we are working on. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here and have this. It's going to go as far as this and it's going to have a curve curve in this way to hold the strike that is going on that's why I curve it now I curve that one first after I curve this one the next thing I do is that I look if this is going to go enough it's long enough to go down if it's long enough then I come in here to disconnect to the point I want to go once I disconnect that the next thing I do is that I just come in here to pick my pencil and then I I just try to draw this on it. I have to change that pencil because this is not coming out clear. So it goes on that way. So looking at it, I've done this. So the next thing I'm going to do is just come in here and fold this in between that. The reason I'm folding is to just get an equal. So the both sides of it is going to be equal. So once I did this, I can then just come in here and cut this out. Still giving it a space, so a dial. I'm still giving it a little space, so just in case uh, it's not big enough, so I can, I won't have to cut it again to have this. Let me get to position it on it. Okay, I think this is working. For the project that I want to do, so I have this now. This curve has been installed, folded on it already. So I have this, and this can go in the sole, and the sole that way. So the front is set like this. The front is set. I have the front right in there already. Or they do, they do, they never let it be too long. So I have this now. The next thing I'll do is to then come over and get the stripes. The longer stripe that goes all around this. This is very, very easy. Getting that stripe is very easy. What I'm just going to do is that just to come in here and pick a straight line or just pick a ruler. Just the way I'm doing mine. Pick this ruler and just cut a straight, a perfect straight stripes in here. 
Let's call this tree strike. Tree strike. Want to get that tree strike in there? The strike you want to call to be determined by the size of the buckle you tell them doing. But looking at the image you have in there, the, the size of the strike is that get a complete. Ready to use pattern by the time I get this out. This is straight. Why did I say I've completely get the finished pattern? Is that this is crossing like this, and this is meant to go inward to come in this way, and this this goes in at this side here, it goes in here, and one, the other one reverts this way. So it's the same thing. They are going to cut, so we're going to cut under 1.5, 1.5 centimeter to pick it up from here and make it up here. So that's what we're going to cut right now. Coming here to this. Now let me get to arrange this and check if the pattern is set. And so once I come in here, I come in here to do this. This one dropping this way. It's going to go underneath here and it's going to go around to this point. To this point, disconnect like this and then disconnect like this. So, this can then, once this pick up the buckle, this can meet up with it. You get that? This can meet up with this. So, once it's meet up with it, then come underneath again to check if it's long enough. So, this is long enough. This is. Okay, so with this, we've been able to get the pattern out. We've been able to get the pattern out. It's so easy using the free hand pattern cutting to get generate this out. So that is just it. So then we have this, and then we have this. We this we're going to use to cut the sole out to cut the letters out. And once we're done with the leather. And this is what we're going to use to cut the sole out. So we've got the pattern for the upper, we also got the pattern for the sole. So can they go and get all our material now? We're coming up here, these are the materials that will be used for this project. This is a puffy material in here, a foam like uh, Marco, a puffy. Uh, this is in here, and it's a cardboard. The people like the, the cardboard. So I have a um, light uh, synthetic material that I'm using to cover it. And the sole that's you know, this is rubber. This is three mm rubber. Why this is rubber five mm, which I'm going to use to the sole for the sole. That I'm going to use for the sole. Okay. So to start with, I will come with the pattern as which I marked earlier. The soap pattern, I come on with it. I come with this and I mark this out. And I make sure that it goes other way around again. And I mark this. This is the pattern that I generated from the, the ASO pattern. This is it. So the time I have this, the next thing I'll do is that I'll cut it out. Yeah. You have to see this. I'm making the sole first before I even doing the mid sole or the in sole. It's the last sole I'm doing first. So this is the process that is very important to get. So I will get this in first. So this is the only the, what makes this particular method of this thing different. You get the sole first. Once you mark it. To know where the gauge is going to get to, and then we brush this. I brush this, I brush this surface too, so bone can stick to this. I move forward to apply gum and stick this to this so The next thing you do is to come and apply the gum.
apply down to this to put it all uh, together. So using this letter, what I'll do is to come here and mark what I, I cut out earlier. I will mark it on it. I'll mark it like this. This is two now. After I mark that, I come here to to mark this. So at this same place, I mark this. Cut it straight like this. So I've cut this out and then pick on the other ones. Continue cutting till I get everything out. Here, and I've been able to cut all these out. After I've been able to cut this out, to get our project well knit, this is the right time for me to close in up the edges. So I take this up, mix it up very well. Make sure it's mixed up for you not to set you down. So once it's mixed up, I can then open this up, get this out, and it's so I can come in here and then have this. So with this, all the edge is going to close. And see, it's closing up. So I will going to do this for all of this. So at this point, I'm done with this. I'm done. The next thing I will do now is to then drop this one down and do it hand stitch around here and I'll keep up with this. So I come in here to apply one to this. Basically that I want this to go like this. Once it's dry, I come back to fix it. And I come here. This is what I'm gonna be using for my bottle. So I come in here to fix the bottle on this. This looks kind of bigger than this I'm gonna be using it. I'm gonna be using it like that. So I come in here. So I come in here to just this is how I'm cutting this this I'm trying to create space for my bubble. So I, I push this in now and then I turn it out this way. Turning it out this way, this is what I get, and this goes in back. So I get this. So this is what I will be using, and so I'm going to come in here to apply gum here to go. Once the two of the gum is dry, I then come back to gum then I come and do a simple stitch on it. You can either use a simple stitch or I use an eyelet to hold it up. Drop this on it. This way, once I drop it on it, this way, I can come drop an eyelet here. Okay, so this is dry and I have this now. Look at it. This is balance. This is balance. So to make this a completely non-stitchy uh, project, and you're not going to stitch. So if you are going to make it a non-stitchy project, that there's not going to be any stitch on it. So what we're going to use is just to apply an, a rivet pin on it. Take it down. So now I come in here with this. I just perforate this. I first perforate this this way. Make sure it's on a rubber. Don't use your ordinary table to do this. So after I perforate this, I come in here too and then run that same thing here. That has given me a good hole. I can pass this one through. Once I pass it through, I embed this one. And the time I embed it, I pick another armor and then just mark it. As you can see, I've marked it so it locks. So after I've locked it, I can come in here to have a fashionable close. The fashionable close I'm going to be having is this. I'll just do it like this. Like this. So it's just on this way. By the time I have this, we are good to go on that. So we come in here to fix this. So since this is passing through this, it's coming this way, and this is going to go inward like this too. So I use this to gauge the portion, the distance at which I will be perforating. So this point is okay. Then 
me just add one to that. So we have this. I just come here and I punch this. Then I come in here, punch this, and get it down. After I get it down, I pick this. By the time I pick this, I drop this down to finish it up. I this is okay. So I come back to the back in there and do a good finish up of my work to make the back also very neat. Always make sure even the underneath of the project to be very neat. So this one too is neat. So since we get this out, I will have to just take this here too. So I time I get this out. Uh, so I do this. After I get, get to do that, same thing, and then we are I do this, and I do a cutting of the base out to. After I get to do that, and I'm almost done. Yes, I'm done with this. To be completely done with this, this my stripes is have to go inside this. So I have to know the point at which it's going in. I have to come in here, come in here, pick it down, and then get the punch hole. My buckle. Excuse me. No. no. I just place this base on. No recommended. No. So, I have this balanced. You can see? Balanced. This will be going this way. It's going to go like this. Like this down. Why this is going to go all around back. Into the polyset. You can see now, one thing I should always remind you is that at any point you want to end your buckle, make sure it ends slipping backward. Once you come forward, it's going to affect any uh, decoration you put at the front. So it's always good it's moving. The direction should be always backward. Get in there. So we've got this now. This will now go into this. With this, we are done with this project. We're done with the upper layer of it. We then move to the sole. This gum is dry already, so we just come in here to clip this. Once this is clipped, I come in here again to glue this on it. So the time I glue this on it, I come with my armor amount pressure. Out. The next thing I'm going to be doing right now is that to so use this very thing, of course, in here to generate my upper part of it. So what we need to do is I will come in here and pick my gun. I need to equal, put this to be balanced. So for it to balance, I drop a little gum here. The reason I'm dropping this gun is that. I want to use this to hold this temporarily before till I finish brushing it all around. So I'm going to do my overall finishing of this sole now. So this is the only time I have to brush every portion that is not balanced. After I brush it, it's that I have to shape this balance. The next thing I will do here is to Take my spoons and spoon it all round. So then open it up. The essence we have to fire this round first is that the project, the upper, I mean the inner layer or upper layer that we want to do, must be exact accurate. Ah. 
So I'll cut this out. Having cut this out, if properly cut, once I place it on my project, it will be the exact of it. Please let's check it out. It should be the exact of it. Look at the way it's looking here. Now it's balanced. So and then come in here to bond it, drop it on it. At the same time, I do this too. Make sure your bone is balanced before your bone is evenly applied. At the same time, your bone is dry before you bone it up. So I pick my scissors to cut. So look at cutting this, I would take, like to look at it very, very well. Cutting it, I have to cut straight and very, very close to the ball. Why cut it very close? So at the exact of it, you have this. So at the time you have this right now, I'll be cut out at the exact of it. Then this, I'm going to do the same thing for the other one right now. So we have this right now. At the point we have this, the next thing we do now is to then cover this up. I'm going to be covering up with this particular material. And while it is dry, we come and cut it out. But before we wait for it to dry, another thing we need to do is that I come in here and take my scissors to trim this out with excess. I want to trim this out with excess. So after I trim this out, I hold on for it to dry and then come back and do it together. This is dry now. So I just come here to fold. I notch in this place to fold. And this bag is very, very important. You have to take it step one after the other, taking off the excess. This is where it gets rough in this kind of project. I have to do it in a way that it will not be rough. You pick it up and you make sure it folds. It folds up. It folds up in there. You pick it one after the other, one after the other, at the point that you have a balanced fold in here. You have a balanced fold in there. So at the time you have this, you can see, round. So we then continue that to up here. You can see how this is, is balanced this way and can try it on this to see if it's going to work. See? This is what we have. Balanced. So it's balanced. So what I, the way I put it is what I'm going to do to this tool right now. So we need, at the time we have this. Let's go, press it down. So yeah, you see, moving it down. What we're going to be doing right here is to Start by picking this this way. Okay, we're going to use this. So we'll come on this to get the positioning of the project out. Like this. So what we are meant to do now is to look at where this is going to go down. So the way we want it to appear on the foot, when the real human foot is on it, is where 
is how we're going to set it now. Here, this stripes is going to go where this thing. We're not going to cut anything in between here. The only cutting we're going to do here is just to perforate the point that this is going to go inside. So we do that to get that. We just come here and get any sharp object to be able to indicate where it's going to be. So we just come here and do this and try to indicate it. Just indicate where it's going to be. Pick it up, come here. So with this, the hole we have in here is very, very okay. The house. Since the hole is okay, then we just apply gum. Apply gum to drop it down. And mark, apply gum here. So by doing that, the mark has to We are touching a bridge. I want to apply gum. I've shown in a need to adjust to this. So I wait for this to dry. Why I come in here to do? Apply gum on this too. So I can then come and open this up. Yeah, so can. Hold it very well now. Just drop it down this way. Like this. It's balanced that way. And it comes in. This way. It's very important you have to put this nail to hold it to your last so you can hold on. So you put this in SX. We cut the essence out and we have this now. Once we have this, once we get this out, the next thing is to come here to the front and drop this down. Put this down and it's down now. So look at what we get out. So this is what we get out now. The next thing we need to do now is to move to the machine. I use how you pick your hand saliva to brush the surface, brush the surface, brush it, and we just come here to clean this to eat. So the clean it up, not to brush it Brush it, I guess. Can get to see the side. No gun stay all around. You can see that. So after I get to do this, I then come over and apply my gum to this. Applying gum to this, you have to be conscious of the edges because it should not be a thing that after you're done with your project, you have gum stains all around. So you have to be conscious of the edge. The gum must not exceed the edge. So once I apply gum to this, I hold on for it to dry. And once it's, once it's dry, I come back to gum it all together. I want to now gum this to make sure that you start it from the back. Once you start from the back, you come into the front, turn it upside down, and drop this. Make sure it stops at the edge. If you follow all these steps that I'm giving here, you will have a neat project at the end. You will not have to cause because to be cleaning, cleaning, cleaning gum. So here, look at it. Covered up. Covered up here too. So the next thing we just I just do here is to then pick my hammer, amount pressure on it. Get to mount pressure on that. Get to mount pressure on these two. So we'll get this and 
above pressure and this is covered. So, so I'm done with the second one too now. So all this is balance. You two set is balance. So I allow you to take time to check all the steps out. Kindly check all the steps out. So at the end, you will definitely get a project looking like this. Thank you so much for joining me on this.